Hi, I'm Dr. Charlie and I'm a lead GP and a senior university clinical educator. In this video, we will show you how to direct and assess blood pressure readings presented to primary care based on NICE guideline 2019 into eight very easy, simple steps to remember. We will show you how to deal with potential hypertensive emergency we will also show you how we should diagnose hypertension in primary care. Coming right up. High blood pressure or hypertension is a very common condition in the UK. It has many contributing factors including age, race, lifestyle, diabetes, high cholesterol for example. Uncontrolled blood pressure can lead to some serious conditions such as heart attack or stroke. The standard threshold for suspecting hypertension is based on a sustained clinic reading of more than 140-90. Step 1. Blood pressure reading should be done correctly with the correct cuff size. The patient should be relaxed and rested. Be aware that blood pressure reading may not be accurate in patients with irregular heartbeat such as uh, atrial fibrillation. You can repeat blood pressure up to three times and record the lowest number. Step 2. Red. Blood pressure of more than 180 over 120. This is stage 3 severe hypertension or potentially hypertensive emergency. The clinician will need to assess if the patient has life-threatening symptoms such as new confusion, chest pain, signs of significant heart failure and acute kidney injury such as not passing urine and shortness of breath, you want to send this patient to hospital for acute medical assessment or a &E. Step 3. There is a rare condition called pheochromocytoma. This is a condition where there is a benign tumour in the adrenal gland sitting on top of the kidney producing excess amount of hormones called adrenaline and noradrenaline. The patient will have very high blood pressure but will also have other symptoms including headache, palpitation, tremor, sweating and be very panicky. Also want to send this sort of patient to hospital for acute assessment. Step 4. If the patient does not have any of these worrying symptoms but have high blood pressure of more than 180 over 120, the patient should be assessed by the GP on the same day face to face. This is to look for accelerated hypertension by performing ophthalmoscopy, looking for retinal hemorrhage or papilledema. edema. Now, if this is positive on examination, the patient should be sent again for the same day medical assessment in the hospital. Step 5. Assess for evidence of end organ damage which may already be present from patient history. You want to refer patient um, for an ECG looking for a left ventricular hypertrophy. You want to perform a urine dipstick looking for hematuria or proteinuria and send the urine sample for a urine ACR. Perform ophthalmoscopy looking for a hypertensive retinopathy. You should do uh, a blood test um, with HbA1c looking for diabetes, renal profile, lipid profile and full blood count. If there is any evidence of end organ damage, you can diagnose hypertension there and start a hypertensive treatment. Interestingly, according to NICE guideline, if the patient does not have evidence of end organ damage, there is no need to start the treatment right away, but it is advised the patient is booked for follow-up within seven days for further review it is also advised that the patient should get a 24-hour or ambulatory blood pressure um, as soon as possible. Safety net advice should be given to the patient. Step 7. Amber. These are patients with blood pressure reading 
more than 140, 90, but below 180, 120. If the patient has not had diagnosis of hypertension already, you want to offer the patient ambulatory blood pressure or 24 hour blood pressure to confirm hypertension. If this is not possible or unacceptable, you can offer home blood pressure monitoring as alternative. Now, with ambulatory blood pressure monitoring, you need to have 14 readings over waking hours and the average of those numbers, if this is more than 135, 85, the patient is diagnosed as hypertension. With home blood pressure monitoring, um, I would advise that the patient have the blood pressure reading twice a day, usually between four and seven days. Um, I usually ask the patient to do the blood pressure reading twice and get the lowest number. The average of those number over at least four days of more than 135, 85 can be diagnosed as hypertension. I usually discard the first day. There are two stages of blood pressure to be aware. Stage one is for clinic blood pressure reading between 140, 90 to 160 over 100. And for stage two is um, from 160 over 100 to below just um, 160 over 120. Do not forget to also assess for end organ damage in this group. Um, by doing a blood test as mentioned before and send for a urine ACR. Step 8. Non-hypertensive blood pressure reading. Blood pressure of more than 135-85 is called a high side blood pressure and should have an annual blood pressure check done. Everything else below 135-85 might suggest a uh, repeat blood pressure every five years. We will discuss a bit more about the hypertension management in the next video. We will then discuss guidelines on um, hypertension in pregnancy, diabetes, and also a secondary hypertension in following videos. I hope you find this video useful. Uh, don't forget to follow me and subscribe um, to my YouTube channel, GP Team Academy. And until next time.